Hello you lovely people, welcome to the Geek Herod. I'm Penj and welcome back to Project High Rise Las Vegas. Feel everything. This is Penj's Palace and it is looking far more grand now. It's looking a bit more Las Vegasy. We've got little bits here which look out over the city, little rooftop things. We've got a big casino, we've got hotel rooms galore. And yes, it's all looking rather good. We've even got money. Wow. This is something we haven't had much of in uh, Project High Rise Las Vegas so far. So, there have been a few comments on the channel and I am forced to agree with them. I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hurry this up a little bit. So I'm not going to sort of fast forward time or anything and show time lapsey stuff. But, what I'm going to do with this now, instead of saying, right, here's a load of stuff. I'm going to zone out individual shops and show me zoning out the shops and putting the wiring in and all that kind of jazz. I'll do kind of big blocks of stuff. If something interesting happens, so if a little event thing comes up and is interesting, then I'll probably comment on it. Uh, I'll, if I change my, or if I get my things completed, my contracts, I will go through that and say, yes, look, I've done a contract. I shall now pick another one. You know, if significant things happen, but like this, this bit here is going to be me building hotel rooms and zoning out hotel rooms. That is not going to be very exciting. Granted, I give you that. Thank you, commenting people. I did have the thought in my mind myself, and I wasn't really sure. So, yeah, we'll make a sort of a... I don't want it to be light as such, but we'll just cut out the extreme amounts of detail I've been going into about you know, zoning out. Oh, look, I'm going to put a room in here. I'm going to do this, and now I'm going to put some electrical wires across. Yeah, point noted. That is getting on a bit. I mean, this is eight parts in. Is this eight or nine? So this is, yeah, this is the ninth part. We've only got this far. And granted, it's been a challenge. I, mean, I like the challenge. It's good. But, you know, we need to hurry it along. We need to we need to get on with it a little bit. So, yeah, we won't be showing literally everything. But, yeah, important things we will. So when we put in our uh, whatever goes in here thing, the new one, what is it? The new big one? Which one was it? That one. The great big convention hall. We'll be showing that because that's quite interesting and that is a different thing. So right now, I need to pick a contract. So what contract do I want to have? So people magnet is the number of people in the hotel. Well, uh, uh, what is it? Population. Ah, right. So it's not people in the hotel. No, I am mistaken. It is people living and working here. So given that no one lives here, that might be quite hard to get 250 people working here. Profoundly profitable. 10,000 in rent revenues. Do you not think I can do that now? I bet I've got that, or nearly, in all these things, in all the shops and stuff. Basic offices, no. Large offices, no. Corporate stuff, office drones. Residential stuff, studio apartments, we're not having that. Restaurant revolution. Space for large restaurants. Do you know what? Let's let's go for that. There we go. We've almost got it anyway. A large lunch restaurant. We need two large lunch restaurants. Right. So I'll put these in. And then we're done. So we'll have a large lunch restaurant just there. And a large lunch restaurant just there. And let's see what we can have. So uh, lunch. Do they do lunch? Dinner and has a bar. Dinner and has a bar. Brunch. There we go. That's lunch. Have they got trash bins? Yeah. So right. So we'll have a brunch one. Let's have... Oh, they're all the same. Purple bowl, black bowl or park view. We're seeing as they're quite high up. They probably can see a park from there. So park view. Diner will do... That's one of those. And on this floor, a buffet restaurant. They do lunch. Yes, lunch. Uh, let's have fresh buffet. That sounds nice as well. So, right, let me just get this done. And I know, obviously, I've just said, I'm not going to show me wiring everything up. And now I am doing that. But it, this is just to get this contract bit sorted. Right, there's no gas on these floors. So let's put some gas over to you lot. What else do you need? Water as well. Have you all got water? Yeah. Right, okay, so they should be able to move in, and when they're finished, I should already get Restaurant Revolution ticked off the contracts list. There we go. Restaurant Revolution done. $7,000 for that. Okay, let's pick another contract. Scroll right down to the bottom. What are all these? A high-end hotel, destination hotel, tourist traps, all this stuff. So let's go for... Oh my god, there's loads. How sweet it is. Double down. Creature supply doubles and deluxe rooms. Okay, we're going to go for some deluxe stuff. So let's go for double down. Right, we've already got that. Right, how sweet it is. There we go. This is all to do with sweet. I imagine 
when we're, let's get rid of those, when we're doing that, an occupancy rate of 75% in standard junior suites. Current occupancy rate is 0%. Oh dear, that's not very good, is it? 0%? Really? Are you sure? Where's the, where's the booking in thingy? Hang on, what? Standard junior suites. Where's, where's that? Is that, that's a double. That's a honeymoon suite. What's that? A junior suite. Uh, I beg to differ. I very much beg to differ that my current occupancy rate for those is zero. There's people in them. So, yes. Okay, so it's gone a little bit wobbly, but whatever. We'll get that done. And then we're going to get double trouble as well, because we're going to put a large nightclub in somewhere over here. It's all going to be very exciting. So, let's adhere to what I was talking about at the start. Let's not jibber-jabber about all this stuff. My plan now, zone all that out with stuff. So basically, zone all that out with hotel rooms. Oh, hooray! <laughs> I finished. Hang on. Let's get another contract done. Uh, let's pick uh, uh, that one. Palatial patios. Uh, oh, no, no. That's penthouses. I'm not going to do that. Deluxe beds. Yeah, that sounds quite good. You get prestige for that as well. So a oh, presidential honeymoon. I bet I can have that. There we go. We'll have that sorted. There we go. That sounds like a good one. So, what is it? An occupancy rate of 90% of my presidential suites. Currently, occupancy rate is zero. Because I don't have any presidential suites. That would make sense. So, they might feature as I build all this. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to wait for the builder guys to finish doing all their building work. Then, I am going to fill all this with hotel rooms. Probably build another little sort of gallery a bit on. And we'll just, I'll just get on with it. And when interesting stuff happens, I will mention it. Okay, so one of the first things worth mentioning is that the large housekeeping is no longer sufficient. So, we're going to put in, uh, oh no, it's room services, sorry. We're going to put in a large room services, but we're also going to put in a large housekeeping as well, because there were a few things which said, a few of the comments on here said, oh, my room wasn't ready, my room was dirty. So we're just going to put that in as well, just to sort of, A, it will fill these gaps, which is quite nice. So we can drop that in there, and then pop the other one in underneath. I imagine large housekeeping will fit just there, lovely. Uh, but yeah, I, I just... I'd rather have more of these and just make sure the rooms are all tidy and stuff because this is my only source of income. So if the rooms aren't ready, I'm going to be losing out on money. So I'd rather have all this sorted and ready. So that's why I put these in. So we need to wire them up. So yeah, I still haven't done anything else. That was literally the first thing I did. Not very good at this, not talking about everything, Lark. Right, I'll try harder. Must try harder. Okay, the money is rolling in. $104,000. This is very daft. So yes, I've zoned out all of these, apart from these top ones, because they're going to be presidential suites. We've not seen much of those. The demand in services has gone crazy. We've got all these things down here. I expect I'm going to have to burrow into the ground a lot more and put all, lots of these services in. There's going to be lots of room service. What are the other ones? Housekeeping and all that jazz. The spa stuff has gone through the roof. The luggage services are in demand. So yes, there's a lot of demand for a lot of different things. But now we're going to put in presidential suites. So I've not seen a presidential suite. So let's drop four in. Hopefully, I'm fairly sure I've got enough stuff like power and water and all that jazz. So all this bit here is deluxe. I've got deluxe single rooms, deluxe junior suites, deluxe double rooms on the side hopefully yeah that's bringing in the money and it must remember actually let's put a performer on let's have a, a medium person let's have a medium entertainment person let's have <laughs> posey o'donnell yes please club prague rock on and a business person let's have a small one albert barlow you sound good fresh banquet center there we go so i'll get the rooms full that should get some people in hopefully these presidential suites take a very long time to build. That's a good sign, probably. And there they are. They might even have a picture of a president on the wall. I mean, I don't know who that is. If you know who that is, if you are American and that is one of your presidents, firstly, apologies for not knowing who it is. But secondly, tell me who it is. Because this is a presidential suite, so I assume that that's a president. I don't know. They've got Ponzi artworks. They've got this one, which is clearly being broken. I mean that, oh hang on, hang on, If you, I don't know if you can hear that, I might turn the volume up, have a listen. There's like nice music, <laughs> sort of peaceful, classical, calming music, the sounds of drinks being poured. Wow, the presidential suites are brilliant, I like those. 
They're very good. So yeah, a sort of arty, poncy art thing. Drinks, a broken one. So clearly that has been damaged somewhere because it's missing its head and its arms. Come on. A desk for some reason. Because if you're president, you might want to do some work on your desk with your lamp. And yeah, everyone again smoking in bed. And then, yeah, evidence of a bathroom here again. No actual sort of bathroom, but evidence that there is something. There's at least a sink and a sort of mirror to look at. Wow. Cool. Presidential suites. Okay, that's good. So we're going to fill these up with presidential suites. And to finish this contract off here, double troubles. We, yeah, we need to increase our occupancy rate. That's fine. I imagine if I do some of this stuff that I'm going to do, that will go up. We're going to put in... A large nightclub. Now, I haven't selected one of these, but I imagine it's... Oh, it's... Ah, right. Okay. It's a two by two. I thought it might have been long, like flat, like a sort of one of the single tier ones. But no, it is two levels. Okay. Let's put that there. A large nightclub can go just there. This is all rowdy, this bit. It's all rowdy and noisy. So, yes, it might as well go and sit over there. What's that? Coffee and lunch. Do you know what? Let's put in another tiny eatery just there. And you can do breakfasts. Can anyone do breakfast? Coffee and breakfast. Beautiful. There we go. So they've got electric and uh, they've got... Uh, no, they haven't got water. No, no. Did they even have electric? I was looking on the wrong floor. I wasn't even looking at the right floor for those guys. I oh, know they have got electric. Splendid. What does the nightclub need? Uh, electric, water, cable, HVAC. So let me check that it's got all those things. Okay, it has now, so that's good. Let's just drop the rent for you. And yes, we want to get our large nightclub in. Because then if we put someone in the large nightclub, I think possibly our occupancy rate will go up, which is a splendid idea. So yeah, I'm surprised our occupancy rate is 68% at the moment. But there we go. Uh, I suppose the new ones at the top aren't particularly full at the moment. Oh, hang on. Right, bed bugs in the hotel. Expect to do a lot more maintenance on your hotel rooms. Also, to mitigate the bed bug problem, expect renovation to be more expensive throughout the building until those little monsters are eradicated. Oh, deep joy. Hooray. Splendid. So we've got bed bugs. Now, I've just noticed something here. This cannot be reached because that is a double floor thing. This casino is two floors. We can't get to just there, so we can't put a coffee shop thing there. So I've got to break the lease. Construction workers have to come and clean it up. They never will be able to. That can never be done. Oh no. Oh, this is this is a disaster. Because I can't fill that now. Uh, okay. We might have to do something about that. We're going to have to move the bloody casinos about and stuff. Aren't we? Oh god. Yeah, I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that being there. Being sort of stuck. Uh, okay, yes, right. I'm going to have to bear that in mind in the future. We'll have to sort that out when we come to it. But yeah, I imagine our worker guys are going to be cross about this. That's going to keep flashing up as well, isn't it? I can't get where I need to go. I know you can't get to where you need to go. Ooh. Ooh, unless... Unless we take that sign down. They're free, aren't they? The sign... The marquees are free, I believe. They don't cost any money. Free. Right, okay. Here's the plan. Take down that. Build... Uh, one, two, three. How wide are the stairs? Four. Yep. Yeah. Build stairs. And then build that there. Yeah. And go up the stairs. There we go. <laughs> what a complete fudge that is. Okay, fine. Whatever. They can carry on doing that. So, we'll leave that We'll leave that like that for now. So the big nightclub is in. Right. We're going to need some more events, guys. Because we've got quite a lot of events sort of places now. And no real... We've got two teams of events, people. So yeah, we're going to need more. We're going to need more of those. Also, I need to shifty these about now. Because that that there is a space of five. Over the ground, that's not so bad. Underground, sounding a bit like a womble. That is a problem. Because not much. Are they five wide, actually? Should I stop talking? Hey, there we go. I've done that. Splendid. Are they five wide? How wide are they? One, two, three, four, five. Do you know what? I'll just shut up. I'll just stop talking. Okay, yes, I thought they were, I thought that was five and they were six wide. But clearly, clearly, I am entirely wrong. So, uh, yeah, there. Let's have a couple of events, guys, in. That'll help. And then, yeah, these gaps of three can be used for, like, electric and water, little terminal things, because that fills those gaps up quite nicely. Okay, so, 
So, the two people who we can have in our casino who have both tremendous names. We can have Huge Richard. <laughs> who I actually, I think I'm going to go for Huge Richard. Or John Cantaloupe Camp. Um, I don't know the reference to John Cantaloupe Camp. Uh, oh no! John Mellon Camp. Oh, that's, oh, that's very good. Yes, of course. I'm sorry, John Cantaloupe Camp. Your name is fantastic. And it has many, many letters and syllables. But I've got to go for Huge Richard. And I just hope that he's really, 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 really thin. So, yes, we'll have you, please. Yeah, we'll get you. Cost 2,600. But, yes, Club FYS. That's a, a rubbish name for a club, isn't it? Okay, maybe we'll, maybe we'll change the name of that nightclub at some point as well. I don't really like the name. So what am I going to do with this now? I quite liked having my sign outside, but if I can't get to the edge of the building, that's not very good, is it? If I can't get across, you know, these floors need to be filled in, really. Unless I just now demolish that, like that, take the stairs out and do that. I might just have to do that, you know, just bear in mind that nobody can get to those bits there, ever. So, yeah, okay, that's fine. Right, let's put my marquee thing back in. I quite like them. Which one did I have? I had the first one, didn't I? Yeah, that one. Penge's Palace welcomes you. Huge Richard coming soon. He's even called Huge Richard. I love the fact that he's called Huge Richard. Okay, now. The plan now. I need to increase that occupancy rate by a 4%. Come on. 4% increase is all I need for that. That is not very much at all. Uh, okay, there's somebody somewhere. There's somebody in. I don't know who it is. Is it a talky person? Oh dear. Oh no, somebody's talking to themselves. Albert Barlow's having a chat to himself again. Oh dear. Sorry, Albert Barlow. That's not very good, is it? Sorry, sorry. Right. Big casinos, big casinos. They bring lots of money in. I've got some space for some shops there. So I've got four shop spaces remaining what's more my stuff looking like Ooh, electric is borderline water is all right phone is okay gas is absolutely fine what was that no, that's cable telly that's phone right phone is fine so really electric is the close one okay what i'm going to do right now i'm going to put some more of these in so some more janitor cupboards hey every last bed bug is smitten is smitten not what happens if you're like in love with someone an awful lot? You're kind of smitten? I don't know. Back to normal. Anyway, right, splendid. So my occupancy rate is still not high enough, unfortunately, to get double troubles out of the way, which is a bit tedious. However, everyone went to see whoever you were in there, so that was good. That needs to be cleaned up by the events team. They're on that now. So we need to pick another contract. Let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. Let's have expense accounts. I don't know what that's going to be, but there we go. 83% complete. I need another banquet room. Okay, I can deal with that. They're going to go over here anyway, and we need to zone a bit of this out so we can have some more of these uh, Evcon thingamabobs at the edge. Anyway, so that's not so bad. So let's zone this little bit out along here. There we go. I've just put that in, zoned this little bit out, put the banquet room in, so I've finished expense accounts. So that's jolly exciting. They want a recycle bin. Let's put it right by the lift. Why the heck not? Right, another contract. Let's go down to the bottom. Business travel amenities. I've proven adept. <laughs> really? I wouldn't use the word adept. And managing the diverse needs of the business traveller. See if you can use this skill to increase your prominence among the business community to make your hotel and resort a go-to for all types of business gatherings. Ah, that's going to be more of this type of stuff, isn't it? High-end hotel. A large number of deluxe rooms. Okay. Yeah, should we try that? High-end hotel. Status 100% complete. Uh... Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to do that. No, that's tedious. So deluxe hotel rooms, yes. No more than 25 standard hotel rooms. Currently, there are 133 standard hotel rooms present. I'm not going to go and undo all of the regular hotel rooms just so I can then replace them with deluxe ones. That's not going to happen. I'm not going to spend my time doing that. I'm going to break that contract. That is a silly thing. $1,500. That is absolutely fine to break that contract. Uh, destination Hotel. Swanky rooftop restaurants and luxury boutiques. Yeah, let's go for that. Hooray, we've done it already. Tourist traps. Uh, yeah, okay, let's try that one. There we go, 95% complete. So we need what? A cheese shop and a candy store. 
Yes. Now you're talking. Right. Shops. Are they medium stores? Are cheese shops and candy stores medium stores? Yes, they are. Cheese on this floor. Do you know what? Cheese next to the candy. Why not? Now, I like the cheese shop for a couple of reasons. There it is. It's finished as well. So that makes it look even better. So one, it's called the cheese cupboard. So hello, you lovely people. Welcome to the cheese cupboard. And secondly, one of the little nags they have, given that it's a cheese shop filled with cheese, not the, you know, the most fragrant smelling, possibly sometimes not the most fragrant of all the foods. Strange smells keep coming from somewhere. Yeah, that'll be the cheese. Hey, and Taurus Traps is finished. Yes, I'd rather think the strange smells will be your cheese. Now here, strange smells keep coming from somewhere in the sweet shop. Yeah, that's the bloody cheese next door. I don't know what the cheese people are whinging about. You thought if they owned a shop of it, they might be used to it by now. Clearly not. Right, so now, I think it's time we put in the big, the big one. A giant convention hall. Look at that. That looks very exciting. Huge convention hall, please. So what do they need? Uh, recycle bins. Yeah, we can cope with that. Electric, phone, water, and HVAC. Right, so let's get all that stuff in. Yay, there's a talkie lady. Who was it again? Magda Stewart. Yes, is in the sort of, the, the not quite as grand as the big room up there. The Horvath Hall at the Half Shell. Really? That's what that's going to be called? Oh, whatever. I can't even bother renaming her. So yes, yeah, so Magda is in here. She's talking for five hours about how good she is at a national corporate CEO. So good for her. She's got, oh look, she's got a PowerPoint. It's got a picture on it. Broken GIF. It's got a bar chart with some bars. It's got a pie chart. Or it's weird Pac-Man thing. But okay, fine. So she's doing very well. And there are people in there. Look, there's people. Doesn't look the busiest it could be. I'd like it if there were people around here as well. But I suppose it's at least half full, which is which is good, which is what we're after. Okay, who can we get in here? Into the big, giant room. Let's get business. Let's get large. Here we go. Hang on, why can't we have you? Why can't we have you? Requires an event space to be available. Conference center. Oh. Oh, I get very confused. Is that a conference center? That's a conference center. That's a convention hall. Okay. Who can we have that is a person that's going to go into a convention hall? International business mogul. Convention hall. Costs actual monies, lots of monies, and a bit of buzz. But okay, let's get you in into the Horvath Hall at the Half Shell. Which is a stupid name for it, but okay, that's fine. Yes, we can have someone in here. I've put a little shop next door. Let's drop your monies down. Because I thought people might come out here and go to the shop. It was the idea. So on their way in, they might go, oh, I'll grab a drink or whatever. Lovely. We can go in. So that, you know, whatever, might work. And I'm going to turn this into a sort of art gallery parade thing along here. I might just fill it with... The, the art options are unfortunately very limited. So if you want medium art, you've got a choice of five things. So if I want to fill that with stuff, it might be like cube, 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 cube. You know, one of these, cubey thing, cubey thing, cubey thing, cubey thing, cubey thing. Well, that'd be it, but yay, <laughs> that's it. Do you know what? Let's do that now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a cubey thing, and then a head thing, and then a cubey thing, and then a head thing, and then guess what? A cubey thing, yay. So our, our prestige has gone up quite nice, which is lovely. We do need to give that a background, so resort. Let's, let's give it place glass walls with gold gilded joints. Yes, look at that. They, people can go onto that floor, so they can't get over here. There's nothing, because obviously they're going to, well, I suppose they could. They could be admiring this cubey thing, and then take a step backward and plumb it onto this pot plant. I mean, if that's a cactus, that's spiky. That's a bit of a health risk going on there. So, yeah, that, that no one can get over there. So, is it worth it? No one's going to come here to do anything. Oh, it's hot outside, really, really hot. The demand for electric to keep things cool has overwhelmed the grid. The electric utilities can only deliver a fraction of what they usually can to the heat wave subsides. Electric supply, at, oh pause, at 75% for the duration of the heat wave, that cannot be a good thing. That cannot be good. We, oh my goodness, we are 0.2 over demand. Right, okay, 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 right. Drop one of these in, 
just just drop one there and casually just boom there we go lovely lovely let's zone out another underground floor for this while we're here there we go how about another couple of floors actually just to make sure that we don't end up in trouble let's just zone out a couple more floors where we can put some more utility well not utilities but yeah you know power phone water that kind of that kind of shizzle uh, and also keep this consistent as well because it's nice. It means people can get up and down if the lists are broke or whatever, which is always handy. Uh, the services are looking pretty good now. I think because we've not added a massive load of stuff at the top of the tower, the services are actually managing okay. Now, I want my occupancy rate to be higher, but I can only get it to 81%. So the feedback is pretty tremendous. What's the bad feedback? Housekeeping was late. Housekeeping... Uh, so, okay, so I had to carry my suitcases. Oh, because the elevator was out. I had to carry my suitcases because the elevator was out. So, if the elevator had been working, your suitcases would have magically walked themselves? Okie doke, whatever. Ooh, 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 What's going on over here? Oh, hang on a minute. Everyone's got... What? What? Hey, what? So, this place here... That pays a hundred and five dollars a day. Yesterday made one thousand six hundred and eighty-seven dollars. They had three hundred and six customers yesterday. Yet the place underneath just just thirty-two. What's going on there? Okay, breakfast coffee is a good thing. Then is there anywhere where we can put breakfast coffee? Doesn't look it at the moment, does it? Okay, so the plan now: do this bit. Do you know what, actually? I don't think we need to build one of those quite right now one of these little intermediary bits here i am just going to build some more hotel rooms we're just going to go up a bit more we're going to keep buildings so there we go we're going to i'm going to zone this out we're going to put more suites and hotel rooms and whatever else in so yeah let's get all this done let me just check however very quickly what's the reserved rate like oh it's all the single rooms that are letting me bloody down um okay maybe i need to book Somebody into there. Uh, no, that's a, that's, a, that's a casino. Somebody into the big nightclub as well. Oh, have they been in? Oh, they've been in already. Have they trashed the place? Yeah, the mic's been kicked over. There's stuff on the walls. There's a, a, a mysterious sheet. Yep, good. It's been trashed. Good. Rock and roll. There we go. Rock and roll. Anyway, yes, I was building up these floors. So let me add. Let's add another another 10 floors of hotel rooms. See how that goes. So I shall do all the necessary bump to get 10 floors of hotel rooms in. And then we shall come back and see where we are. Yay, the Las Vegas heat wave is done. A cool breeze finally blows through the town. Lovely. There we go. Right. I'm heading to war. Ah, in fact, I have it. Oh, I have plenty of influence and a bit more, in fact. So we need... Yeah, do I want to get large artworks? that greatly increases happiness and I can always move someone off the ground floor. The large artworks are a little bit strange. For some reason they can only go on the ground floor. There's two of them. So there's a painting which is a blocky thingy and then there's a sculpture which is a wibbly thingy and they both go on the ground floor. They can't go anywhere else. They have to go on the ground. Now I'm all prepared to move people out of the way. Now they are not making a profit. They're, why are they not making a profit? So what I might do is I might turn this whole bit here, just here, into, into a nice outdoorsy bit. That might be quite a nice thing to do. So have some sort of plaza stuff. That'll be nice. Have some uh, lovely big art stuff as well. So let's get that. Let's get large artworks right now. Large art. Let us drop in a piece of large... Art. Oh no, or do I want to zone the outside bit first? I want to move these guys and those guys because they're not they're not happy. I don't know why they're not making much money. This massive bit up here is still being moved. Oh, I added some more stuff on. I added a couple of extra floors on just so I could sort of map that in my head that that's where we were going next with the towery bit. Uh, I've just had a thought actually. How many more tiles have we got? We've only got, well, about sort of 1200 well 1150 tiles left right and then what does the other one zone it up to the big one it zones up to 15,000 from 6,000 to 15,000 okay right okay well we can't get that at the moment anyway 
and we don't need to worry about plaza decoration because that's not a thing at the moment. So let's move you. In fact, no, why don't we put that giant cover is a bit of a weird place, isn't it? And there's a bit of art slapped in just there. What I'm going to do is let's get a painting. Let's get a bit of large art. An art gallery. Oh, of course, I haven't got the art gallery in. Right, okay, this was a plan. This was going to go up here. So the art gallery was going to go on this floor. Just there, in fact. But now the builder people... Do they need anything to function? Nope. Uh, the builder guys, I don't know if they're going to come and do that. Is one of them going to come over and build that? Because they're all busy doing this stuff up here. So I don't know if one of them is going to... Or you, you. Did you come down? Yes, who are you? Daniel. Time for a nice cup of joe. Well, yeah, after you've done your work. Thank you. Right, so there's an art gallery in. So people can go and look at art. There we go. Ooh, art. So who are you, the artist? Lorraine. Lorraine and Kenneth, the art people. Good. Now we can put a bit of large art in. So let's put the big painting in. Let's put that massive painting just there. And people can walk by and ignore it. Has anyone stopped to look at the gigantic, very expensive, fantastic painting? Nope. No one gives a toss about the big, fantastic, very expensive painting. Oh, good. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Good job. Uh, while we're here, then, because we have the money, let's put in the wibbly thing next to it, then, and we can have a little art parade down there. There we go. Lovely. A weird painting thing, and then a wibbly thing. We need a background behind the wibbly thing. Where is it? Resort. I quite like this. The avant-garde wallpaper. Oh, yes. That's very nice. I like that. And just there... Can we stick a fountain in? Are they too wide? Yes, they are. We can put a fountain in. Yay, there we go. Just spending our money willy-nilly. Uh, yeah, the disadvantage of zoning out a massive area up here for these guys to build is obviously they work through this systematically, I believe. So they work through it the, the way I zoned it out. So because they're doing all this first, and then I came down here and went, oh... I need some bits down here to help with the uh, sort of luggage, the bellboy bit. This is bad. Yeah, this is becoming a bit of an issue. Look here. This is a problem. This is not working. I need them to come down here and build these bits so I can put the, the bellhop stuff just here, the luggage drop stuff, out. Otherwise, yeah, I, I need them to hurry up and do that really or else people are going to be complaining and I'm going to start getting some bad, bad reviews. And also... My buddy occupancy rates are low. Uh, is there something I can do for here? Actually, room release. It decreases the room price. It increases the visitor count. Uh, yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a fun thing to do. So that'll be tomorrow. So tomorrow, I would hope to see a big increase in my occupancy rate. Particularly if I can do this as well. If I can do large business, when do they turn up? Tomorrow. Yes, good. So let's have Susan Samstag in the whole battle of the half show, whatever that load of nonsense is. And then entertainment wise, let's have a medium person. Let's have, uh, let's have Celery Top. Okay, right, fine, whatever. Eugene Green, a regional minstrel. Okay, yes, we'll have you and you can go to Club Prague. So we've got people performance. We've got a big, very important person and a sort of cool music -y person. And the room rates are all lower. So hopefully people will start coming and people will get that occupancy rate up. So we'll have an occupancy rate of 90% as of tomorrow. So this won't apply until tomorrow. So I need to wait for tomorrow to just roll around. Ah, annoyingly, <laughs> occupancy rate 86%. That's very frustrating. Right, let's pick another contract. Uh, let's have deluxe beds. Surely I must have that. Surely I must have deluxe bed sorted. Yes, there we go. Trips or better. Demonstrate your mastery as a hotel owner. Oh dear. Building and managed by creating the biggest, best hotel. Lots of rooms are always in demand. Surely I've got that done. Really? I've not got trips or better done. Is it to do with a bloody occupancy rate? I need an occupancy rate of 90%. <laughs> Can everyone just come to here, please? I've even dropped the room rates for you all, you swines. Come on. Wow, here is Susan Samstag, the very important Susan Samstag, talking in this room. Now, people are coming in. Does it fill up? Yes, look, the room actually fills up 
depending on how many people are coming in. So I expect these back seats to fill up because there's, oh my goodness, there's an awful lot of bloody people coming in. Susan Samstag is very popular. So I'd expect these to fill up as well. I expect the graphic to change with even more people in. Hang on, what time did she start talking? Half two. It's now four o'clock and people are coming in. You impromptu buggers. There's loads of people coming in. Wow. Susan Samstag is very popular. How many more people? This is ridiculous. Surely it's standing room only now. Wow. And yes, she's got a she's got pie charts and bar charts and her HP and stuff. But okay, good. So she that's fine. That's worked out very well. Right. Can we put a restaurant in? No. Can we put a gourmet restaurant in? Can we drop a gourmet in? Yes, we uh, we can. But then there's going to be no space for uh, bins and such like. Is that that is a shame. That is a shame. I thought that'd be quite cool. It fits one perfectly, but yes, no space for trash unless we can get over here. So how are the builder guys doing? Right, they're doing okay. They're doing all right. I just did interrupt them to uh, move some of the storerooms around so I could put some more of the luggage drop things in because people were sad about that. But yeah, my biggest thing at the minute then is this occupancy rate. I need that to be significantly higher. Okay, the builder guys have done a sterling job. All that is done, I have now widened up with electric and water and all that jazz. I also expanded this bit out here. This bit will probably come into play next time out. I'm not going to do anything with it right now, but next time we're going to start doing stuff with this. They've also expanded the basement a little bit, and now they're having a very, very welcome sit down. There they are on, let's be honest, seats that look like they might be a little bit too short for them. It makes them look like they've got very odd legs when they're facing towards you, but okay. So yeah, there's Lee, Lee, Dan, Alan, Ellen and Terry. There they are, they're all having a little rest. God bless them. Lovely, so they can have a sit down for a bit. So I have a plan to try and get our occupancy rating as high as we can. I just thought we've got three, four, five conference things and how many of these? We've got three sort of entertainment venues. Why don't we just book out all of them? So entertainment, we can have large. Let's have Dusty Chesterfield. Yes, please come in, Club FYS, jolly good. Now, medium, let's have a comedian. So Rodney and Safefield. Oh, Rodney and Safefield and Rodney and Safefield. Yeah, so we're not going to have another, uh, another music person. So let's have Rodney and Safefield the first. It's a bit weird. Club Prague. And now, is there a small person? Yes. And now we can have Larry Red. So jolly good. So V purples, you'll do. And now business. So let's get a large business person in. Let's get uh, a national. No, let's get, uh, yeah, Oprah Wincost. <laughs> really? Really? They even went there, did they? Mac Truckerberg. Wow. I know, I don't want him. I'm having Oprah Wincost. And she does cost, crikey. So let's have her at the whole battle at the hub, 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 hub. A medium person. Let's have Rose Schneider in the skyline room. And then let's have a small person. Let's have Long. Let's have Karen Long in the coast room. Oh, we can have another one. And then you, Horvath, in the banquet centre. So now we've got absolutely loads of people booked at all our venues. Practically, I think we might have a nightclub or something left. Whatever, but that's fine. So hopefully that will now increase our occupancy rate because people will be coming in to see all these very, very, very exciting people, all the different things. Yeah, it's all the sort of rubbish single rooms that are being left behind now, isn't it? All the standard single rooms. What's that? Junior hotel suite. Okay, so regular junior hotel suites being left out. And yes, it's the regular rooms. Just the regular single rooms are being left unoccupied. Okay. Okay, right, we may, we may have to do something about that, but let's just see if our plan works. Can we up our occupancy rate? So I don't think it'll happen today. I think it'll happen afterwards. Oh, they look very sad. They're, made, they're making no money. They are making no money. Don't move out, it's free. Just stay here for free, it's fine, I don't care. Stay there for free, I'd rather you stayed in sight and didn't leave so I'd have to put someone else in and faff about and it'd lose the space and it'd all be a very big pain in the bottoms. So yeah, stay free. You're, you're most welcome. Thank you. Wow, with 5,000 positive reviews, you are now as famous as you can become from word of mouth. 
other methods will be necessary to increase your prestige further. So I have got from hotel size, well, presumably hotel quality, I'd guess, plus nine prestige. That's the most you can have from that. That's rather splendid, isn't it? I like that. Right, what's our room reservation like? Right, there's, there's people booking in. I can hear people booking in for presumably some of our dudes at the things. So yeah, so it's only 82%. Really? Re I booked loads of people in and it's only 82%. Come on. Yeah, so you're there. Oh, wow, so you're you're popular then. So Opera Wincost is very popular. They've finished. Uh, they finished. She's oh, she's talking to herself. Rose Schneider's chatting to herself. She's a bit sad, right? She's gone home. So now is it just you guys left? There's someone there. So that's tomorrow. Uh, see, they did a weird tomorrow thing, don't they? They don't do it right. Yes, and Larry Red is tomorrow, and you've not got anything scheduled. Is it you? And Rodney and Safefield. Yeah, they're all tomorrow. That's not ideal, is it? Were any of our rooms free for this? Yeah, that's that's tidy. The Betty Boom Center is tidy. Let's get someone in the Betty Boom Center. Donna Butkus. That's a very unfortunate name. Yes, Betty Boom Center. Tomorrow. Let's get you in and hope that that helps the occupancy rate. Yay! Right, I don't... The only thing I don't know is when the occupancy rate is calculated. I don't actually know when that's worked out. So, I assume... It's at the end of a day, is it? But no, it can't be midnight or anything, but whatever. It's worked. So I've got trips or better, fine. And I got double troubles. There we go. So now I can get some more contracts. So that, I think, is what we're going to do. We're going to get some more contracts, and then we shall end for this part. But, I mean, that's a massive difference, what we started with. So let's see what contracts we want to have. So I might go for People Magnet, because now we're going to be putting some more shops and things in. That might be quite a good one to try and surge towards so people i've done people magnet go me hurrah okay let's do one of these instead let's do hotel ones high rollers palatial patios what's that the city would like a few palatial penthouse apartments to achieve this dream and oh, that's apartments yeah that's no they're apartmenty type things not not what i'm going to be doing like this i've got hotels Glut of gastronomy attract the most sophisticated palates. Right, okay. And gallery with shops. Well, let's get the restauranty one. Right, one gourmet restaurant. Fine. And then let's get one of these. Well, high end hotel was reduced the room, so we're not going to do that. Let's get whatever. Business travel amenities. I've got business travel amenities. Okay, let's get tourist amenities. There we go. Tourist amenities is nearly done. Have 100 tourists checked into your hotel. The current number is 93. Ah. Okay, so that that has gone very well, I think. That's gone pretty fantastically well. And I am going to have a think about how to proceed with this. At the moment, I mean, yeah, I have an absolute shed load of money. And at the minute, I have 4,846 tiles. So yeah, I've got about 1,150 tiles left to zone out. So, I mean, that'll probably get me, what, up to here or something. And if I'm expanding this bit out on the side, maybe that'll be a bit higher as well. So, there is this here, zoning changes, which then extends the floor limit to 15,000 tiles. So, that's two and a half times what I've already got. I don't know whether to do that. I think... I'm just going to go to the, I'm, I'm going to consider this, but I think I'm just going to stick to the 6,000 square limit. Because I think we've proven that it can be done. You can build a hotel, you can fill it, you can put shops and casinos and nightclubs and conference centres in, and it works. I think we've proven that, and I don't know what's going to be gained by me then struggling trying to build an even more vast hotel on 15,000 tiles worth of stuff. I mean, this is 6,000, or well, this is, but we're gonna have 6,000 as it is, which is gonna be another, yeah, another sort of 20% on top of what I've already got. I don't know what's gonna be gained if I then to more than double it. I don't know if that's gonna be something that I want to do. So I'll think about it, but I think, I mean, we are filling everything within the confines of what we can do. We are gonna have 
6,000 tiles filled and I've still got to fill them. I've still actually got to use the gaps correctly and wisely and make sure it's all working properly and have them all filled with something worthwhile, whether it's art or janitor cupboards or facilities or stairs or whatever. So it's all going to be useful stuff. I just don't know whether I want to do a 15,000 square tower. I, I'm erring on the side that I don't. Let me know if you feel very, very strongly about it. Let me know in the comments. But yes, I'm thinking it's probably going to be more prudent to go to the 6,000 mark, which might happen next time out, actually. That might happen on the next playthrough because we've done so far, you know, we've done this much on this run through. So there's no reason to think that next time out, we're not going to get to 6,000 tiles. So yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see, and I shall think about that. But I think we did pretty well this time. It's all gone very cool. Lots of deluxe stuff, lots of very nice stuff everywhere. Is that good? And next time, build this bit up, build up higher, and then I have a plan for here involving the casinos and the nightclubs, and hopefully it will work. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. They've ripped my arms off, ripped my legs off, I mean, you know, unfortunately they didn't rip anything else off. Yes, I'm off my face on mushrooms. Why, Lady Charlotte, I, uh, I would certainly love to taste your cake. The King of the West is an idiot. I am off my face on mushrooms. I mean, asking me questions isn't going to be my strong point at the minute.